Okay, time for a new deck for Leo season. This is another one of the ones that I got when that shop near me went out of business. I've been eyeing it for a long time, so let's see what's actually inside. As per usual, the slight pause to get the cellophane started. So this is the Sun and Moon Tarot by Vanessa. I'm not sure if it's Decourt or Decourt. Um, yeah, don't know the linguistic background there. Oh God, I'm going to rip this box, aren't I? Boxes and I don't get along. Oh, I think we made it mostly. Will this one be easy? Oh, this one's easy. Okay. So yeah, this is going to be an interesting Leo season. I'm going to dip some astrology in before we see the cards. <laughs> Because it's all opposite Pluto, which is what all Leo seasons will be for the next 20 years. So we're really starting a new norm. All right. Get the box up here. Interesting choice for the top of the guidebook. Okay. Pretty short little write-ups. About a paragraph each. Doesn't look like it lists any... Oh, we're doing... Princess and Prince. Oh boy. I don't know why those ones always throw me. I don't really like the Toth tradition, but that's okay. Okay. I've gotten about the artist. If you want to pause and read this, I'll circle back to it later myself. And a beautiful little cover card. Okay. Let's walk through it. Wow. All right, you already got the astrology. I'm interested. But it looks like the wheel is out of order. Unless, no. Oh, no. Okay, Taurus just looked like Capricorn for a second. Okay. I can dig it. Ooh. Oh, bunnies. You know I'm sold. It's a very chill emperor. There's a whole lot of chill in most of these. It's like really laid back version of the majors. There's a lot of whimsy. I really like all the different animals. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Ooh. Oh, they straight up call it rebirth. Okay. There's also a lot of yin and yang. Definitely a Tower of Babel. Yeah, it's interesting how much occult symbolism is in this one. I wouldn't have pegged it from the cover, but like there actually, there is a lot even, ooh, ooh. It's giving Shiva Nataraj. Oh no, it's Kali. It's Kali because, okay. Interesting. But in Shiva's ring, okay. I'm excited to look at the book and like see. All right. Okay, we're getting more traditional. Oh, oh, why do I always react to the Three of Swords? I'm sorry. I promise I'm not obsessed with heartbreak. I just tend to really like Three of Swords. Um, always have to get to know the Four of Swords so that the deck can attack me because I'm not sleepy enough. Hmm. Interesting. See, I feel like this one changes the meaning. Yeah, I'm curious what the book will say on that. Interference. Yeah, that's... It's different. It's funny. I've been so caught up in the art, I haven't even been paying attention to the, like, keywords up top. Cute. I feel like I knew her. Uh, <laughs> high school flashbacks. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. 
The problem with me buying a bunch of decks when... Oh, here's the cover card. Nice. Uh, when they went out of business is I haven't really regretted it, and that's not good for my um, deck addiction. I really don't need more decks. Unless you want to gift me a deck, and then, you know, that's different. <laughs> but I should definitely stop buying them. At least for a little bit. The other problem is I keep meeting people who make cool decks, and then I'm like, well, I should buy it to support them, and also because I want it. Yeah, Nine of Cups. It makes me happy. But I'm never satiated. Alas. Yeah, I, I don't know how to describe this art style. It's super unique, and I really like it, and there's just something very compelling about the facelessness. Ooh. Yeah, like, how is this not fun? It's just... It's good. Ah, uh, my card of the year. Still feeling that. Hmm. It's all just so soft. I really like the pentacle design. It's beautiful. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah, there's just something very satisfying about this. Okay, I'm going to mix it all up and then we'll see how it shuffles. Okay, we did the wash shuffle. Now let's see the slot. And for those who are like, why did you shuffle off camera? Because the wash shuffle takes a little bit and I read reversals, so I like it really mixed up. And this is just to demonstrate how the cardstock works for y'all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty solid. Pretty solid. As per usual, there's like always this issue between cards that shuffle well and cards that are fragile. Um, I'm a little rough on decks, but we'll see. We'll see how we do. All right. I'm proud of myself. I managed to go faster this time. Normally, we're pushing like the 10 minute mark already, which is not great. Oh, Prince of Pentacles. Okay. So, just that slow and steady willingness to commit to what's next. To really move towards your goal without haste, but with ambition. I think it's interesting the posture of the bull in this one almost gives like hesitance before the charge let's see what the challenge is there <laughs> four of swords reversed i told you it was gonna come for me i told you <laughs> yeah i'm i am exhausted in fact uh, i just did a house clearing and it was a lot all right so what's the remedy nine of cups reversed happiness reversed make your own dreams come true Look at what you already have instead of looking for more. And what's our relationship going to be like, deck? What do we got? Ah, three of pentacles reversed. Okay. Contemplative solo and inner work rather than collaborative work. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. Bottom of the deck. Happy Leo season. Enjoy the ingress, y'all, and stay tuned for the stars and cards. Most days, not every day, because, you know, I always need rest.
Bye. Let me know what you think in the comments.